He's got his hand out like he's begging. That gargoyle's holding a large hourglass. His hand's on fire. Salt shaker. It's a pepper shaker. It's a rolled-up parchment. Whoa! Talk about a hissy fit. Evil Mirror Universe April sure got some anger stored up. Guess she doesn't want me to get that parchment. It's like that Star Trek episode with the Mirror Universe Spock. It almost looks like a Mirror Universe me. Stone door. Who's knocking? That door's got an hourglass sticking out of it. One stony face. That's one stony face. Say whatever you want about Roper Clax, he certainly knows how to keep a big fire. Oh, wait, are those human bones down there? Big 
Certainly, but I can't see anything through it. It's like there's a thick fog outside obscuring everything. Evil alchemist or not, at least he's made some effort to make the place look good. Finally! <laughs> I was beginning to think you would never make it through my labyrinth. Welcome to my humble home. Do you like it? I had it built according to my own specifications by the most skilled architects of Arcadia. They have since become a permanent and quite attractive fixture of their own building, of course. Oh! But I forget my manners. I am, as I am sure you already know, Roper Clax. And you would be? Relinquish your prisoners and free the wind. <laughs> This is a Kodak moment. But why look so shocked? I am quite familiar with your world, you know. Automobiles, rocket ships, telephones, America's funniest home videos. I have great plans for the future, you see. Once the Vanguard succeed in their hilariously destructive little ploy, they do not know what they are getting themselves into. <laughs> As for you, April Ryan, yes, I know who you are. I think I will allow myself a few moments of amusement before I take your soul and trap you in solid stone. Why did you trap the wind? Why does the wolf eat the sheep? I don't think you answered my question. Because I can, little girl. Because I can. And because of who I am. Because I am hungry. And because the time is right. I think you did it because you're insecure and you have to show off your petty magic to the world. Shut your pretty little mouth! I will devour you! I will... <clears throat> but we must not lose our self-control, must we? No, we must not. Why did you turn those people into stone? Questions, questions, questions! I do not need to explain myself to you, little bastard child! Do you know who your parents are? No, of course not. Too stupid! What? What do you know about my parents? Suffer the little children. Oh, how I love that phrase. It is my life's philosophy. I like suffering, especially the suffering of innocent children. Their screams are so pretty, their tears so... Salty. You're a real shit, Clax. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Prepare to be defeated. Prepare to be defeated. Ha! Clichés. Is that the best you can do? Watch me. Yes. And you plan to do what? Witness the men who came before you with their weapons and their magic. Look what happened to them. Turn to stone. Each and every one of them for all eternity. I even own their souls now. And they will feed me and keep me strong for as long as I need them. How original. Been reading a lot of fairy tales lately, have we? Oh, 
How precious. <laughs> See? I could scour your flesh off your bones in a second, little girl. Now, do you think you could defeat me? How about a proper challenge? A proper... <clears throat> what, what do you mean by a proper challenge? I can't defeat you with magic. I'm not a wizard. Wizards? Frauds! The lot of them! The only real magic is the magic of alchemy. But of course, you cannot defeat me with magic. That is why I will win. What's so great about beating me with magic? That's not a challenge. That's a walkover. If we even the odds out a bit, you'll have more fun and satisfaction from turning me into stone later. You are trying to trick me. I know that. But you intrigue me, little girl. Go on, then. Issue a challenge worthy of my powers. I challenge you to a contest of simple arithmetic using only this petty little device against your supreme intellectual powers. Give me your best shot, but after this, I will take your soul and trap you in stone for all eternity. Sounds good to me. Okay, here's one. 49 times 11. 49 times 11 what? Numbers. Okay, think of apples and oranges. 49 apples times 11 oranges. 49 times 11. Let's see. Carry the one over, divide by three. What to do with that file? <clears throat> no, forget that one. So that leaves us with... Nine! Aha! <laughs> Wrong. It's 539. That was an easy one, Colax. Is that the best you can do? Uh, two out of three. I'll give you an even easier one this time. 603 divided by three. Ooh, you underestimate my powers, little girl. 5,867.2.3! Aha! Way off, buddy. It's 201. Sorry, you lose. Give me that thing! Ooh. This is intriguing. This really is. What does this do? Oh, my. I always thought math was such a waste of time.